Hey guys, I'm Lenny, and today I got a winter update, I guess, <laughs> for the game. Um, I have improved the performance quite a lot. As you can see, I have uh, doubled the FPS. Actually, I have uncapped the, the FPS, and uh, now I have capped it at uh, 120, I think. It shouldn't go above uh, 120, but it kind of does. <laughs> only slightly though. Um, the issue with my performance was I was uh, keeping track of all the tracks in the game, all the animal tracks, and that caused quite a few problems because you need to update the whole large map and that's not really necessary. So uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm only updating tracks uh, that are like three screens away from me. Um, which is kind of an overkill, so if the performance goes down again, I know where to look <laughs> and I can improve on that. But uh, for now, the frame rate is stable and I'm pretty happy with that. So that resolved my biggest nightmare, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I have added a bunch of new things. I have started working on biomes. Um, as you can see, this is like a desert biome. The usual stuff, <laughs> few cacti, um, there's not much else uh, to this biome because I just wanted to generate different biomes and I'm gonna slowly start populating them with uh, different things. Um, you're gonna be able to interact with those things as well and there's a lot of work like graphical stuff and in Jesus rabbits, alright? Um, so there's like a random chance to spawn a desert and a snow biome and I'm kind of forcing the game to create at least one of each um, there's the snow biome and as you can see right here when I'm generating the, the map uh, there weren't any conflicts never mind but if there are any conflicts like um, there's not enough uh, biomes created in the map um, it tries to it tries to add them to the same map uh, for like five times and when, when it fails that means it cannot really fit the random biome in there somewhere um, it resets the map and generates it again trying to find enough good spots for those biomes it's not the most efficient way to do that there are possible tweaks but for now it's um, good enough and I'm pretty happy with that. I'm also keeping track of all the animals I created just in case because I kind of broke the system and I fixed it recently so that's why I'm keeping track of, track of them. Uh, there's one thing special about the, the snow biome. When I'm right here and I'm trying to build stuff there's not much to see. But if I'm right here and I'm trying to build stuff, I can make a snowman. You need some coal and branches. You should technically um, need the pot, which is on top of his head, and a carrot. I should add, add the carrot. Let's add it right now. Where's the snowman? There we go. One carrot. It's not gonna show up here, I will have to reload the game, which I'm not gonna do. But um, you can't build you can build the snowman. Obviously I have cheated my way uh, to build the snowman, but if I weren't cheating I would need to have those resources in order to build it. And that's pretty much it. Um, about those biomes, I had issues that they were overlapping, that they weren't generating big enough and there was a lot of tweaks and things that needed to be done in order to uh, draw them properly. I guess for my world there's like... it's not earth, cause you can have snow um, on the bottom, on, to the south and desert to the north. Um, I didn't think about that much, I just uh, wanted to create more biomes 
and see if I can uh, fix them properly. That's why I created two, because uh, I needed two in order to create conflicts between them. And I'm still thinking about they might actually be able to overlap and you could have like really cold desert and yeah, you know. Um, but for now, they cannot overlap. And I wanted to show you the wolf. Not sure if I've uh, shown that before. Let me cheat my way to some wolfy. There we go. It kinda runs funny. I'm not sure if I've um, made a video about them, but I did change their behavior and they are uh, more aggressive right now. They still um, have the settings that kind of forces them to slow down a little bit. I'm probably gonna turn that off later on, so they are gonna be much more stronger. I might even increase their damage, because right now you can just guide them around and um, have fun. And you can actually outrun them, which is not gonna be possible later on. Can I actually outrun? Alright, I can outrun wolves. So <laughs> that shouldn't really be possible. Um, and I have to change that. But that's pretty much it for um, this update. And let's check the code. What could be interesting apart from the snowman? Um, maybe those biomes, I guess. I have uh, remade the class that generates stuff and it's much more readable. This part um, generates the whole map. It first tries to spawn all the tiles and from those tiles it generates like sources of water which is right here. Then it, it can also generate uh, desert and snow sources and by source I mean it. Uh, there's a random check and if it passes uh, the water or snow or desert uh, tile, one, one just one tile <laughs> is created and from that one tile the river is built or the biome is built. Uh, for biomes it starts in the bottom left corner, for rivers it can go pretty much anywhere, it can create lakes and random stuff. And if it doesn't pass any of those checks it just um, adds a grass tile. Uh, for biomes, the code is uh, separated for now, but it can be like more abstract and these parts are fairly similar and they can be um, like more abstract made into one just one method. But for now I keep it separate because I needed to see all the problems and issues uh, that I've been dealing with and I think it's all fixed right now. Um, I first try to find that random tile and see if I can fit the biome in. So that's why I got this uh, four cycle here. And it goes uh, through all the tiles the biome requires. The size of the biome is uh, random of course. There's like a random range between the minimum size and the max size. And if the biome fits in, meaning that there are no other tiles apart from the grass or no tiles at all, the biome is just filled in uh, in this four cycle. The same goes for the snow biome and yeah that's pretty much it. Um, it also checks if I'm inside the map and that's all it there is uh, required. There's also a workaround for the, the map edge. Um, I think it's yeah that's this field. Um, I don't want those biomes to be touching the border of the map. I don't know why actually. I guess, well that's just a feature. <laughs> I've decided that uh, they shouldn't touch and this is the field that prevents them from touching those edges. What else I could show? I did a lot of um, stuff in the cone code that's not really seen in the game. Um, I made some stuff more readable. Let's see, when I'm spawning animals, I can just spawn them like this. Super easy. Um, earlier today, when I have added random wolf spawns, I just needed to write one line of code and voila, you got wolves in the map, on the map. 
for the snowman there's a nasty little if clause in the recipe book um, this just that checks um, when you're passing from one page to another in the graph book meaning doing this it, it checks um, what tile are you standing on and as you can see there is a spike trap right now if I go to desert there is no change but if I were to go to the I'm not gonna look for the snow biome but if I were to go to the snow biome I could see the snowman there because it checks the tile you're standing on so in theory you can just walk there open your craft book uh, walk anywhere else on the map on the map and you can build the snowman there which I'm kind of allowing to happen because you can grab the snow and build the snowman elsewhere elsewhere I should kind of destroy the snowman later on but <laughs> if it's hot enough um, but there's no temperature in the game right now so and the snowman is just a little um, just a fun feature for now all right uh, 10 minutes that's about it for today's uh, video and see you guys next time Oh yeah, I almost forgot, I should actually mention something about myself in each of those videos. Um, I managed to broke my rib <laughs> while go-karting. <laughs> um, it hurts like a... yeah. Um, it's been two months and it still hurts, but I can breathe normally and I can move around normally, so I'm pretty much fine. My leg is finally healing after like three months, at least I hope so, I think it still hurts, but it... I think it's healing um, and I bought skis and tomorrow I'm going skiing um, I got a friend who's gonna teach me how to ski properly because till now I was just improvising <laughs> and later on we we actually want to go to the, the Alps and just yeah Alps are really cool uh, for skiing and in my country we got hills but it's nothing compared to our mountains. It's nothing compared to the Alps. So I'm really kind of scared because if I manage to broke my rib while I go go karting, um, what happens when I go to the Alps? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still alive and I'm still work working on this. It's uh, not my top priority, of course, but it's my like fun hobby. So I'll keep adding more. See ya, guys.